From Monaco to Spain and Melbourne, Mercedes roared back to life with a stunning display of power and precision. However, their recent outing in Austria left them reeling from their worst race this season. But fret not, Silverstone is on the horizon and Mercedes is ready to unleash their secret weapon. Monumental upgrades that promise to shake up the competition. But is this the upgrade that they've been waiting for as a missing piece of the puzzle? Or will we see another disappointment like in Austria? Mercedes had high hopes for the Austrian Grand Prix after showing signs of improvement, but their weekend turned out to be disappointing. Both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell finished lower than expected, falling behind their rivals Aston Martin and Ferrari. One of Mercedes' main weaknesses this season lies in the rear end of their car, which proved problematic at the Red Bull ring. Hamilton struggled to keep the car on the track, citing difficulties with turning. Exceeding track limits led to a time penalty for him. Mercedes made a peculiar decision in their car setup, focusing on reducing rear tire wear by reducing downforce on the front wing. This approach proved ineffective, causing the car to suffer from understeer as the tires wore out. It was a short-sighted solution that did not address their underlying rear-end issues. The chosen setup worked well with new tires, but became slow as the tires degraded due to persistent understeer. In the final two corners, where quick turn-in is crucial, Mercedes struggled, compromising their speed on the pitch straight. Turn 10, in particular, revealed Mercedes' problem with their underfloor and rear-end performance. The compression in this corner exposed any issues with the car's underfloor, and Mercedes experienced difficulties there during the race. The decision made by Mercedes to set up Hamilton's car in a manner more suited to teams like Williams or Alfa Romeo is perplexing. For those teams, taking a gamble is worth a chance of scoring points. However, Mercedes possesses advanced tools and resources that should enable them to make more informed choices. It is a baffling decision considering their capabilities. While it is unclear if Mercedes were aiming for a podium finish that was beyond their reach, a team should always strive to maximize their potential based on their actual performance. Artificially chasing unrealistic goals is not productive. It is known that the Red Bull ring suits Ferrari and their driver Charles Leclerc, and Red Bull themselves are in a league of their own. The real competition for Mercedes in Austria was Aston Martin. Whether Mercedes failed to recognize this is uncertain. Another challenge for Mercedes was the unique format of the sprint race weekend in Austria, which allowed only one free practice session before competitive running began with Friday qualifying. After the first practice session, the cars are placed under park firm conditions, limiting the scope for setup changes. Mercedes opted to adjust the front wing, the only component they could modify. However, they were unable to make mechanical adjustments to improve the car's balance, which would have been beneficial. This highlights the importance of entering the weekend with a well-prepared and optimized setup. Considering Mercedes' access to simulation tools, it is surprising that they appeared ill-prepared and seem to be playing catch-up. While Mercedes is maintaining a level-headed approach, team principal Toto Wolf is hopeful that the upcoming W14 upgrade package for Silverstone will reignite the team's positive momentum from before the Austrian Grand Prix. The initial phase of the Mercedes W14 overhaul, which involved abandoning the unique Zeropod concept, was introduced during the Monaco Grand Prix. This led to significant improvements in performance for the team during the subsequent Spanish and Canadian Grand Prix, where Lewis Hamilton secured two podium finishes. However, the Austrian Grand Prix was a major setback for Mercedes. Instead of contending for another podium, they had to settle for 7th and 8th place finishes. Mercedes is optimistic about regaining their form at Silverstone as they prepare to introduce the next stage of the W14 overhaul during the British Grand Prix. Despite a challenging weekend in Austria, the team sees an opportunity to quickly recover and view their disappointing performance as a temporary setback. Toto Wolff emphasized that they are not overconfident and remain focused on the task at hand. The team has diligently analyzed their performance and learned from their mistakes. They aim to regain the positive momentum they had built in previous races. The upcoming upgrades and experiments at Silverstone provide reasons for optimism, but Mercedes is staying grounded and concentrating on extracting their best performance from their car. They recognize the significance of the British Grand Prix, as it is a highlight of the season and a home race for the team, with a track located near their factories. Mercedes also acknowledges a close competition in the Constructors' Championship, with Aston Martin narrowing the gap to just three points. Silverstone holds special importance for Aston Martin, being their home race. Therefore, Mercedes is determined to perform well and put on a good show for the fans at this fast and flowing circuit. Toto Wolff has expressed confidence that the British Grand Prix represents their best opportunity for a victory. When questioned about the race where Mercedes is most likely to secure a win, Wolff straightforwardly stated, Silverstone. 
This news will surely delight British fans of the team as they eagerly anticipate the upcoming race at their home circuit. But what will they upgrade exactly? Mercedes technical director James Allison revealed that the team received valuable images of Red Bull's exposed floor during the Monaco Grand Prix. Sergio Perez's crash during Q1 led to his car being lifted by a crane, allowing rival teams to glimpse underneath. This was not the only instance of an exposed floor during the weekend, as Lewis Hamilton's crash in FP3 also provided an opportunity for competitors to observe Mercedes's updated floor. Considering Red Bull's strong performance and the sensitive nature of the underside of the cars, Allison acknowledged that Mercedes's aerodynamicists would carefully analyze the images. The team had photographers strategically positioned to capture high-resolution photos of other cars during crane-related incidents. Although Mercedes's own car had its trip into the air during the weekend, resulting in images being shared with their competitors, the team obtained a valuable collection of Red Bull imagery. These images will be thoroughly examined by Mercedes's aerodynamicists as part of their ongoing testing program. Despite Lewis Hamilton's accident revealing Mercedes's new floor during the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin believes Red Bull might be more bothered by their car being exposed. I think they're probably more annoyed about their car being left in the sky than we would be about ours, Shovlin said. On the other hand, Red Bull Motorsport advisor Helmut Marko asserts that competitors won't be able to copy the RB19's floor just by looking at images, as understanding how it works with the rest of the car is crucial. The floor is essential, but without comprehending the other components and the underlying concept, it's not easy to copy," Marco stated. So there is a high possibility of a floor upgrade coming in Silverstone. I hope that these upgrades will finally address the rear-end issues that have been hindering Mercedes's performance. The rear-end has consistently posed challenges for the team, and if the upcoming development fails to address this area or if they cannot focus on improving the rear, there may not be much to be excited or optimistic about. During the race in Austria, Lewis Hamilton struggled to keep the car on the track while pushing for pace. In contrast, George Russell managed to stay on track by avoiding aggressive lines. However, neither approach proved to be competitive. Without a reliable and predictable rear end, no upgrade will truly make a significant difference. Additionally, fighting for second place in the World Constructors' Championship could actually be counterproductive, unless they can achieve it through race victories, which currently seems unlikely. It might be more beneficial for them to prioritize P3 or P4 wind tunnel time for next year's preparations. This race holds immense importance for Mercedes, as it is the one they truly want to win. They are expected to go all out and make every effort to achieve a favorable outcome this weekend. The team is determined to show their potential and secure a strong position. However, if Max Verstappen emerges victorious once more, or if Mercedes fails to reach the podium, it would be a devastating blow for both the team and their fans. On this, even Toto Wolff said this, The British Grand Prix is one of the highlights of the season. The atmosphere at Silverstone is unique, and the support from the fans is truly incredible. It's also our local race, with the track just down the road from the factories in Brackley and Brixworth. It's a fast and flowing layout, which creates great racing so hopefully we can perform well and put on a good show. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.